Today, we're going to be taking a look at the most sophisticated vehicles the military has to offer, like the CH-53K King Stallion and the CAIC Z-10. Here are the top 15 most awesome military helicopters. Number 15, the Boeing MH6M Little Bird. In the military, size isn't everything, and this is made clear through the Boeing MH6M Little Bird. Best known by its nickname, Killer Egg, both it and its attack variant are used by the U.S. Army for special operations, and despite being less than 10 meters in length and 720 kilograms in weight, it certainly packs a deadly punch. That's because it's armed with several types of guns, Hellfire missiles, and 2.75-inch FR rockets, all of which cause a lot of devastation in a short period of time. As a result, the helicopter has seen plenty of action in theaters such as Grenada, Nicaragua, Iraq, and Somalia, and it will likely continue to do so. Number 14. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion When it comes to size, the Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion is a real heavyweight. After all, with a max weight of up to 21,000 kilograms and a length of 30 meters, it's considered to be the largest and heaviest helicopter in the U.S. military. As you might imagine, the size makes it the perfect heavy lift cargo helicopter, as it's primarily used to move troops, vehicles, and supplies. According to reports, it can fit as many as 37 troops comfortably, or 55 if centerline seats are installed. And the helicopter is so strong that it's even been used to tow around LAV-25 armored vehicles. But while this helicopter may lack the guns and missiles used by many other helicopters on this list, it is still an impressive machine. Number 13, the Sikorsky Raider X. While the Sikorsky Raider X is still just a concept, it could easily become the next big thing if it's actually developed. Considered by many to be the next generation of light tactical helicopters, the Raider is designed to be versatile, as it would not only be able to carry up to six personnel, but also have a range of powerful external weapons. Beyond these functions, the Raider X would also have advanced technologies, such as Sikorsky's award-winning X-2 technology, fly-by-wire flight controls, vehicle management systems, and systems integration. To top this off, the Raider would be able to fly at speeds of up to 407 kilometers per hour and reach heights of more than 3,000 meters, making this helicopter a stellar concept. Number 12, the Bell AH-1Z Viper. As far as helicopters go, the AH-1Z Viper is definitely a standout. Manufactured by the American aerospace company Bell, it's primarily used in attack, aerial reconnaissance, and espionage missions. This is because it's not only one of the only helicopters in the world to have a fully integrated air-to-air -air missile system, with these including a versatile weapon system, a smart TSS sensor to identify long-range targets, a helmet-mounted sight display, and an exterior that's resistant to marine corrosion. When you further consider that it has a solid combat radius of 240 kilometers and can reach speeds of up to 370 kph, it's not hard to see why the Viper is a top-of-the-line helicopter. Number 11, the Boeing CH-47 Chinook. While the Boeing CH-47 Chinook is certainly a blast from the past, it's still a super cool helicopter. Considered to be one of the biggest heavy lifter choppers of all time, this beast comes in at 30 meters in length and has an empty weight of about 11 tons, and it stands apart thanks to its unique rotor system. That's because its rotor blades actually spin in opposite directions, which provides enough counteracting torque to eliminate the need for a tail rotor. The Chinook can also independently adjust these rotors to adapt to the weights of different cargoes, and despite its size, still has an insane max speed of about 315 kph. As such, it should come as no surprise that it's currently used in the air forces of at least 21 different countries, which truly makes it the Mr. Worldwide of the helicopter world. Number 10, the V-22 Osprey. While the V-22 Osprey may look strange, it certainly packs a potent punch. Standing apart thanks to its two separate rotors, it turns out that this unique design feature is extremely valuable, as the Osprey can turn the rotors to its front so it can function as either a helicopter or as a long-range turboproped aircraft. This multi-functionality makes Ospreys extremely valuable, and they've been used in a number of different types of missions, including air assaults, special operations, troop transports, aerial refueling, and evacuation and recovery. These capabilities are enhanced by the Osprey's ability to travel for up to 400 nautical miles on one fuel tank, and by the fact that it's resistant to everything from desert storms to arctic winds. 
when you further consider that the Osprey has several armaments such as machine guns and missiles, it's not hard to see why this helicopter has racked up over 500,000 flight hours with the United States military. Number 9. The Danel Royfalk While South Africa isn't generally considered to be a military powerhouse, its Danel Royfalk helicopters are certainly top of the line. Known as the Red Kestrel helicopters in English, they were made as a part of an effort to create a locally developed attack helicopter. Loosely based on the South African Orcs utility helicopter, the Royfalk uses similar engines and the same main rotor. In order to control the helicopter, pilots use helmets that display necessary symbols in full color, yet it's the gyro-stabilized turret at the nose that's the true powerhouse of the aircraft. That's because it not only has an Armscore 20mm cannon, but also has a number of high-tech features such as an automatic target detection and tracking system that incorporates a laser rangefinder, looking forward infrared, and TV camera. To top this off, the plane can even carry 16 guided anti-tank missiles, which at a range of up to 10 kilometers are easily some of the world's finest anti-tank missiles. The Royfalk is truly a marvel of South African engineering. Number 8 the Augusta A-29 Mangusta. The Italian Army is certainly a respectable military force, and one of their best air contributions is the Augusta A-129 Mangusta. Introduced in 1983, the Mangusta, or Mongoose in English, is an entirely Western European-produced machine that has seen extensive use in Yugoslav, Somalian, and Angolian civil wars. Considered to be a high-quality peacekeeping aircraft that's well-suited to hot climates, it's especially effective at both reconnaissance and anti-tank operations. This is possible thanks to the helicopter's anti-tank and area suppression weapon systems, which makes use of 12.7mm machine guns and as many as 38 81mm unguided rockets, 76 70mm unguided rockets, and 8 anti-tank missiles, or 8 AIM-92 Stinger anti-aircraft missiles. The helicopter also makes use of additional features such as infrared night vision systems and fully automated flight and armament system to pack an extra punch while its two Rolls-Royce turboshaft engines give it enough power to be versatile under almost any circumstance. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that the Mangusta is truly an exceptional helicopter. Number 7. The Eurocopter Tiger While the United States, China, and Russia are generally considered to have the world's best air forces, the EU also has several countries with top-of-the-line fleets, so it's no surprise that Europe is home to the high-tech Eurocopter Tiger. While it was originally developed during the Cold War as an anti-tank helicopter to be used in case of a Soviet invasion of Europe, it is shifted into use as a multi-role attack helicopter and holds the distinction of being Europe's first all-composite helicopter. What makes the Eurocopter stand out is its advanced features, which include a glass cockpit, stealth technology, and high agility in order to increase its survivability. It's also capable of equipping several different types of armaments, with these including rockets, cannons, and a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, with all of these being controlled via a dedicated weapon controls computer. The Eurocopter can really be equipped for anything, so it makes sense it's seen considerable action in Afghanistan, Libya, and Mali. Number 6. The KA-52 Alligator while the most modern attack helicopters are variations of ones made during the Cold War, the Ka-52 is far newer than most. First launched by the Russian Army in 2008, it's a very solid piece of tech, as it has two coaxial contra-rotating main rotors that provide top-of-the-line speed and flexibility in the air. The helicopter's armor is reportedly strong enough to protect against 23mm projectiles, while it also has six wing-mounted hardpoints that have space for advanced missiles. It is in these spaces that the Alligator carries top-notch weapons, as it has KH-31 cruise missiles that can hit ships up to 1,300 kilometers away, and Vicar anti-tank missiles which can penetrate up to 1,000 millimeters of armor at a range of up to 32 kilometers. This gives it the same capabilities of most modern fighter jets and bombers, making the fact that this is an all-around helicopter quite surprising. However, while it's certainly a great helicopter, American models such as the Apache continue to come out on top. Number 5. The Mi-28NM Havoc When it comes to military helicopters, Russia's Mi-28NM Havoc is one of the world's most advanced. First introduced in 2009, it is manufactured in Russia but also used by the Algerian and Iraqi Air Forces. It's not hard to see why. 
After all, while it's optimized for anti-ship or air defense, it has a ton of firepower, as it can carry up to 16 anti-tank missiles or a total of 80 80mm unguided rockets. Depending on the circumstances, it can also be armed with R-74M infrared homing air-to-air -air missiles used on Russia's latest fighter jets, which therefore allows this helicopter to neutralize both cruise missiles and stealth targets. Beyond its firepower, the Havoc is also very well built, as its flight performance, firepower, survivability, and ease of maintenance are sometimes considered to be better than the America's flagship Apache. If that wasn't enough, cool features such as enhanced visibility sensors, a top-of-the-line fire control system, and the ability to fly backwards has made this helicopter a world-class machine. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that there are few helicopters in the world that are more powerful than the Mi-28 Havoc. Number 4. The Queen's Helicopter Flight As part of her royal duties, the Queen of England certainly gets around and she does so in a top-of-the-line Sikorsky S-76C Plus twin-engine helicopter that's formerly known as the Queen's Helicopter Flight. Painted completely in maroon, it's registered as GXXEA, which is the airspeed envoy that the Queen's uncle, the Prince of Wales, first flew as the aptly named King's Helicopter Flight. Now, while not much is known about the inside of the helicopter, what is known is that it has just six seats instead of the regular 12 in order to allow for additional comfort, and it's more than likely that it also has a host of secret security features to keep the Queen safe. However, we can't say that this royal helicopter is perfect, as it's created its fair share of issues in the past. More specifically, in 2021, it got quite a bit of bad press as it had to make an emergency landing with the Queen and her entourage inside of it after experiencing technical difficulties. There have also been ongoing concerns that it cost way too much to run because in a typical year, the British taxpayers pay over £2 million for her to be ferried around in this private helicopter, with this number not even including her trips on both Royal Air Force and chartered flights. While this military helicopter may be stylish, it isn't very well loved. Number 3. The CAIC Z-10 Out of all the helicopters in China's arsenal, the CAIC Z-10 is certainly one of their best performers. Made with a heavy influence from the Eurocopter and Russian Kamov Ka-27, it entered service in December of 2012, and ever since it's been a staple of China's Air Force. Made in order to disable armored targets on the battlefield, it has limited air-to-air -air combat capabilities. However, it can wreak absolute havoc on the ground. That's because it has a 30mm cannon, HJ-8, HJ-9, and HJ-10 anti-tank missiles, unguided rockets, and even some TY-90 air-to-air missiles in case it finds itself in a tricky situation. In terms of defense, it also has a sloped fuselage to reduce radar detection and has armored plates to protect against penetration, while it also has several pieces of top-of-the-line tech such as infrared sensors, radar and laser warning receivers, infrared jammers, and decoy dispensers. As you might expect, the United States was not too happy about the helicopter's development, and the controversy around it actually managed to spill over to Canada. That's because Pratt & Whitney Canada was the company that sold the helicopter's engine control software to China, and since this aided in its development, the U.S. took the company to court. The end result was that both Pratt & Whitney and some of their American partner companies agreed to pay more than $75 million to the U.S. government in damages, making this sale a pretty big financial and strategic mistake for these companies. Number 2. The AH-64E Apache Of all the helicopters on this list, the Apache is easily one of the most iconic. While the Apache line is pretty old, after all the development first began in 1975 and its entry into service first began in 1986 with the help of modern improvements, it truly has stood the test of time. Primarily developed in order to provide close air support against enemy tanks, it has a very solid amount of firepower, as it can carry up to 76 Hydra 70mm unguided rockets or up to 16 AGM Hellfire anti-tank missiles with high-tech armaments such as the Stinger short-range air-to-air missiles also being possible additions. These weapons make the Apache perfect for a variety of combat roles, and due to the fact that the new Apaches can fly very high altitudes and use longbow radar and modern avionics, they are a lethal weapon on the battlefield. Despite all this, the Apache isn't perfect, as it has had reliability issues with its sensor suite while operating over water. 
However, these imperfections are currently being ironed out, and by 2040 the brand new Apache 64F will likely replace all of the Apaches that are current due to the new version's enhanced capabilities. It should also be noted that the Apache is very versatile, with other renditions such as the Compound Apache and C Apache currently being used in a variety of different roles. As it stands, the Apache is certainly the most advanced Western helicopter. Number 1. Marine One When traveling between cities, sometimes a car isn't all that practical. After all, American presidents typically need to have a large motorcade around them. And in all honesty, it's often easier and less expensive to simply let the president travel by air. As a result, a helicopter that goes by the codename of Marine One is often used to transport the President of the United States from place to place, with a helicopter by the codename Marine Two often being used in the same capacity for the Vice President. Now, technically speaking, any aircraft carrying the President or Vice President can get the Marine codenames. However, the helicopters in question are typically the HMX-1 Nighthawks, which are made by repurposing large Sikorsky VH-3D Sea King helicopters or the newer, smaller VH-60N White Hawk helicopters. In either case, there are usually as many as five helicopters used during any given flight, as all the ones not carrying the President will typically act as decoys, shuffling around with the presidential helicopter in order to obscure which one he's actually inside of. The security measures don't stop there, though. That's because Marine One is also equipped with anti-missile countermeasures such as flares to counteract heat-seeking missiles, chaff to counter radar-guided missiles, and an infrared jammer in order to protect against infrared missiles. In addition to this, every member of HMX-1 is required to pass a specialized Yankee White background check before touching any of the helicopters used for presidential travel, ensuring that both helicopters' equipment and the president himself cannot be tampered with. When considered in tandem, it is these countermeasures that ensure that a president's flight from place to place is as safe as possible. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.